Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel or welcome to it if you haven't been here before. My name is Gabriella and I am a freelance photographer and model in the Metro Detroit area. And what I'm going to be doing today is actually editing your raw photos. Um, I have seen other photographers do this and I see a lot of talented people in and around my network so I wanted to give other people an opportunity to maybe let me edit their photos and I wanted to give myself a little challenge in editing someone else's photos. So let's just jump right in. I'm going to go through and pick a few of the photos and get to work. Okay, so I'm pretty sure when Antonio sent me this one, he knew that I was going to do it because I'm a huge fan of like beauty work and everything. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this photo how I would. I want to try to give it a little bit of like a, a interesting twist or something just so that way it's not a basic retouch. And I'm just going to go through and go for it, I guess. And listen to music while I do it. Some of the things I went in and did is that I got rid of some of the scratches on her arms, which I think she must have a cat or something. I actually don't know her, but she's absolutely beautiful. I would love to shoot with this woman. Um, I touched up just her brow line a little bit. That's just standard and beauty retouching. I'm not, I have like crazy eyebrows, so I'm totally not against it, but I just wanted to, you know, make some things different. Uh, I obviously went and kind of even the skin tone. That's just pretty standard retouching as well. I did frequency separation first and then I did dodge and burn. I personally liked and think that it's necessary to use both, but that's just a personal preference. Um, I went in and sharpened the lip line and fixed the lips there. I brightened the eyes so that we can actually see some of the color of her iris in her eyes. And then obviously I changed the background color from that brown to a little bit more orange, like what's on her eyelids, so that way it would kind of tie those colors in. So this is my first one. I'm actually looking at it. I'm like, wow, there's more things that I could fix about it, but I'm going to step away and leave it alone and move on to the next one. Um, one of them being fixing her high hairline here and just darkening that so it doesn't stand out. Fixing the line that's on her neck there as well. But honestly, thank you, Antonio, for sending me this photo. It was a blast to edit. And um, whoever the model is, please hit me up. I would love to work with you. All right, so this next photo I'm editing is actually going to be a photo that is very unlike anything I ever shoot. So I'm kind of excited to try it because I don't really shoot landscape slash lifestyle stuff. So I'm really excited. This is actually from somebody I met on Clubhouse, which quick disclaimer, if you're not on Clubhouse, get on there. <clears throat> what? Which if you're not on Clubhouse, get on there because it is a super helpful resource. You can talk to a lot of cool people. If you don't have an invitation, feel free to DM me on Instagram. I have like 10, I think. I just don't use them really. So if you want one and you're going to use it, hit me up. But anyway, Eric Orlando sent me this photo and I'm going to try to do something sweet with it. And honestly, I'm looking forward to it because I have no clue what I'm going to do yet. So uh, let's just do it. All right, so clearly there are still things I could fix about this image, but since I literally will take six hours to do this, if I keep playing with it, I'm gonna stop where it is. So here's my original photo from Eric, and here is what I ended up editing it as. Obviously there are some flaws, so before anybody pops in the comments and is like, this looks terrible, I am sorry if I've disappointed you. But I just wanted to give this photo a whole different feel, a whole different life um, than what it is. So I wanted to try to make it seem like it was at sunset and that's kind of exactly what I did. Um, as you can see in the time lapse there, I made a ton of different layers. I was just playing around. I basically haven't really done this before, but I was just like, okay, if I was not going to Google how to do this or watch a different YouTube video on how to do this, how would I do it? Um, and I think it turned out actually pretty okay. I honestly think that if people were scrolling through their Instagram feeds or saw this like on Facebook or something, they probably wouldn't question it unless they looked a lot closer or if they were like a super 
picky composite photographer. So I just want to say thank you to Eric for sending me this photo. I actually had a really good time editing this because this isn't really something that I shoot very often. Um, so yeah, I look forward to doing the next one, which will be from... Okay, so the last one for this video I'm going to do is from somebody named Levgenia Andrusiak. I hope that I did not just murder your name. This is the photo that they sent me. Um, I was very intrigued by the photo. I think that the all the patterns are really interesting. I think that like that the perspective is crazy. And honestly, it took me a while to actually understand what was going on with this photo. So I figured I would try to give it a little edit, give it a little pizzazz, see what I can come up with. I'm kind of feeling like some like really strong, like cool tones for this one. So I'm just gonna jump right in and see what I can make happen. All right, this was a pretty fun one for me to edit. Um, it was interesting because this isn't something that I think I would have ever thought of. So shout out to uh, Eugenia, Eugenia, I'm so sorry, please. I hope that you're not mad. I hope that you're not upset that I can't say your name. Please send me a voice message on Instagram or somewhere or just you know phonetically sound it out for me in the comments here. But thank you for this one. This was a really interesting shot. I don't think it's something that I would have ever really thought of to shoot. So I'm actually pretty, pretty hyped about it. So again, this was the original photo and this is what I ended up editing it as. And obviously you can tell there's quite a few differences here. Um, I touched up the makeup. Obviously, I made it a little bit more vibrant. Uh, I decided to go with a little bit like cooler, like blue tones for the highlights versus um, just having them like actual pure white. I should look to see what that looks like though. It might look kind of cool. I went in, you can see that there's the harsh shadows caused from the hand being up toward the camera across the face and on the chin. I kind of balanced those out a little bit. I think that they were a little bit too extreme and they seemed a little distracting to me. So yeah, that's what I did. I fixed the teeny tiny little uh, sliver of brown at the bottom of the shoe there against the wall. And I obviously cropped in a little bit, but other than that, uh, I didn't have to do a whole lot. Oh, I did change their hair color to a little bit more of like a red color versus just like a plain brown. I thought that that would kind of tie in the lips a little bit. But yeah, I absolutely love doing this. If you do want to send me a raw file, I do want to do these videos a little bit more often. I'm going to drop the link below to a Dropbox folder that is for my eyes only. So nobody else can access that folder but me. And I ask that you please, please, please name your files with your first and last name and your Instagram at or whatever at that you want me to hype up. If they're not named this way, I'm not going to use them just because then I have to hunt down where these things came from and it's a whole mess. So please, if you want me to edit your raw photo, please drop it in the drop box below and it might end up in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys learned something or if you found some new ideas for yourself or just enjoyed watching me edit somebody else's photos because the perspective is so different. Please, if you did enjoy this video, like, subscribe, comment, and hit that notification bell if you're feeling in a great mood because I don't post that often and I probably won't get you that many notifications. So thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.